So hello guys, so as you probably read by the title, this is going to be a video on showing you how to effectively increase your damage so that you're doing a ton of really reliable damage, getting the maximum out of your character, and just showing you some nuanced things that I don't think a lot of players know about. So let's dive right on into the video and talk about these ways to improve your damage. So starting off, we're going to go into my sigils and talk about a few different things that is very important. So for probably most players at this point, you kind of understand this one, which is damage cap. And let's go over it for the players who are not familiar with how damage cap work. So damage cap is a mechanic in the game where essentially you're not going to be able to deal any more damage uh, until this cap is increased. So let's say, for example, you're in a lower level, you're dealing some damage, but you notice that you're getting a very static amount of damage. No matter what kind of like attack you put on it, crit, whatever the case is you put on it, you're always going to do a certain set amount of damage. In order to improve your damage overall, you're going to have to try to reach the damage cap threshold. Now, there are multiple ways to get this. I go over it in another video. I have it like time stamped on the, uh, in the top right so you can go over it. But just to give you a little base form. You can get damage cap increase as a skill. And when you get it up to level, I believe 65, you can get the maximum amount of additional damage that can kind of like over cap it, right? So this is going to be the initial way that you're going to increase your damage. I know most of you probably know this, but this is going to be for the players who don't. So let's move on to the next thing that's very important. And that is supplementary damage. To be very, very clear, because I have been seeing a lot of misinformation on how this mechanic work. Some people are saying that you can overcap this damage and get over it with certain mechanics or certain skills in the game. But there is no way that I know of currently in the game that you can go over the damage cap. Once you have maxed out on the damage cap, that is it. There's nothing more. So let's talk about the other thing that confuses a lot of players. I know why it's confusing players because videos of other creators like actually just giving wrong information. But this is called supplementary damage. Supplementary damage will grant a certain chance for normal attack and damage skills to deal supplementary damage. This is basically 20% of your maximum damage as an additional attack. That is fundamentally what it is. This does not increase past your damage cap. This has nothing to do with additional damage over your cap. This is an additional attack. So say for example, you're capped at 100,000 damage and you have this maxed out to 100%, you'll get 20,000 20, additional damage as a secondary damage stat on the side. This does not stack on top of it, making it 120,000 damage. It is simply another form of damage on the side. This is very important because a lot of players think this is just going over the damage cap and it's ignoring it. That's simply not the case. The one very important thing about supplementary damage is this is going to be the very last that you should try to invest in once you're like min maxed out because this one requires three level fives investments to get that 100% chance for the 20% extra attack. I want to really stress that this is an extra attack and not over capping the damage. Um, so this is going to be an investment that you want to save at the very end because again, it's not that much damage, but it gives you a extra attack which can contribute to other damage types right so it's really good on to another thing that is very extremely ignored and that is skill cooldown the thing with skill cooldown is at some point well first off some characters are just better when they have lower cooldowns on their skills and they're going to use more damage from their skills so obviously skill cooldown is going to be very valuable but in general once you reach your damage cap on your like attack sometimes it's more advantageous to have skills that may have a shorter cooldown to like basically get you extra damage out because essentially this is attack speed to some degree for skills essentially and so this is going to be another really good way to get your damage up really high. This one is ignored pretty heavy as well. So, you know, maybe cooldown can work for your build. It's going to obviously depend on the character, but 20% is pretty sizable depending on the character that's using it. Now, moving on to something that's not necessarily always going to increase your damage, but is going to be helpful depending on the character you're playing. So as you can see here, I have an ability called Fearless Spirit. And this one is very specific to Gran himself. So there's Fearless Drive and Fearless Spirit, and this is a sigil all in itself. And as you can see, what it does is it increases the art cooldown speed, making it faster to reach higher arts. And then the other one gives you higher damage and defense, depending on what like level your arts are at the time. This is going to be a sigil that you can slot into your character, but it's very specific to each individual character. And generally, you're going to want this for every single character, ideally in the form that I have it here, which is basically one sigil giving you both of these effects. 
Now I'm going to show you how to get them, but just keep in mind that this isn't a guarantee, but this is the way that I found to get them. So over here, you're going to come talk to the uh, knickknack shack, and then you're going to go to transmute sigils. Once you reach a certain level in the game, you'll unlock this tra trans marble thing. And this is going to give you a chance to basically roll for these different like things. And you can see I got founder strategy there. I'm gonna go back. Founder strategy, founder's truth, and it shows you the portrait of the person who it is. But basically you have the option of possibly getting a sigil, not only just good sigils, you'll get sigil plus in general for those who are not for, like familiar. You can roll legendaries that can have multiple things on it. But specifically for this point, what you're going to do is just use your vouchers and you're going to basically execute. And as you get more and more vouchers and use more and more, your transversal, transmarvel, I think it's called. Your transmarvel is going to basically increase and then you'll get a, a stock and you can essentially roll for it to get some of these really cool showroom versions. A way to get more of these are to come over here to knickknack vouchers and you're going to trade treasures and then you can trade some of your treasures to get extra stuff. Now you're going to want to be mindful of what you trade. You don't want to trade like super important things, but there's a lot of like useless thing like robot parts and different stuff that you can trade to give you these extra vouchers vouchers rather and then you're going to come to the transmute sigil thing and then keep doing level three ideally and then use transmarvel to get yourself these really cool sigils so for our next sigil and this is going to be a reliable way of increasing your damage fairly easy it's called war elemental now i don't actually have this sigil right now but i'll have it up on screen and i'll show you how you essentially get it but what this does is all attacks count as the superior element except for plain elemental attacks Basically what this means is whenever you attack a monster, you will get the weakness type that they are weak to regardless of if you attack whatever it is. Like let's say you're earth like I am and you attack a monster that you're not necessarily good against. If you have war elemental on it, you're going to be able to deal additional damage as if you have the like type that they're weak to. Now, let me show you exactly how to get it. So for my keyboard and mouse players, I'm not sure what it is for console, but down the bottom right, you see shortcuts and you're going to fast travel to Zatuba Appraisal. I'm not sure if this is the same in the other city, but in this city, that this is the Kiro guy. And you're gonna basically use your Kiros that you get from doing missions, which is pretty much, I believe anything after a maniac, you almost always get one. You're gonna have him appraise it for you. Now, I'm very likely not gonna get it in the showcase because the game hates me, but if you're less like lucky, you could in theory possibly get it from this guy. This is the only way that I know of getting this specific sigil. But yeah, this is going to be the best way for you to get War Elemental, and this is going to increase your damage. Finally, the last thing I want to talk about is how to get your Terminus weapon. So your Terminus weapon is a weapon that can only be dropped from facing off against Proto Bahumat in the uh, Proud difficulty. What you is required is to have every single weapon for that individual character to be 150, so max out, and then you have to face off against them, and then there's a chance that you can possibly get it to drop. Now, the reason why you want this is because of masteries. For those of you who are not familiar with masteries, these are passive points that you're going to use to give yourself damage. And ideally, you're gonna to aim to max this out as soon as possible. There's one for offense, there's one for defense, and this gives you skills as well, by the way. And then there's collection. Now, collection is gonna do pretty much the same thing. It's gonna give you passives for the weapon. So if you're wondering if you should, like level up your weapon. Oh, I never leveled this one up. That's funny. Um, you should absolutely level up all your weapons, regardless of if you're using it or not, because it's going to give you bonus stats that's going to be usable. Now, as you can see at the bottom here, we're missing a weapon because I haven't gotten it for Siegfried yet. And in order to get this, this is going to give you more additional stats when you face off against Proto Be uh, Bevel Mat. Now, moving on to over masteries, because this one is actually pretty important too. Whenever you reach a certain level, I believe I got this very last one over Mastery 3 at level 100. Or maybe it's tied to being on Proud level. I don't know exactly. I don't recall. But basically, this is going to give you some passive bonus stats that can help you. And as you can see on the right there, I have skill damage cap up, crit hit rate up, skill damage up, as well as stun power. I don't really like the stun power. But this is going to increase the cap as well, which is going to make it easier for you to get more damage. But you can come here and use your residual mastery points because I have a lot left over since I don't really need to level anything but collection. And you can use this to execute and give yourself a chance to roll for things you want. So if, for example, if I was a maniac and I took this, I can go ahead and use this instead of what I have. You can choose to replace it or not. I'm not gonna do that. 
but this is going to be another way to give yourself some really cool damage on top of the terminus weapons which you need to do to in order to get way more damage out of your character anyway guys that's going to be it for this video those are the major ways that you're going to get damage i know there's other things like roll the dice and a glass cannon but those things are like meme stuff like glass cannon could work for a ranged character like ugin or um io or whatever but the rest of the the other stuff is just a meme and it's not really going to be reliable damage so i didn't really want to talk about it but if you have any questions comments or concerns about how anything works in grand blue fantasy relink just let me know down in the comments and i will make a video about it making sure you get the right information because that's actually really important so you know you have the best possible like information on how to progress your character with that in mind, don't forget to like as well as subscribe to the channel for more Grand Blue Fantasy Relink if this video helped you out. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Later.